All right, guys. So um, this is where we at with the um, barrage uh, transmission case. Um, as I said on my previous video, you're gonna be using the original gears. Um, don't pay attention to the mismatching bolts. It's just the first four that I found, but you're gonna be using the same bolts that um, hold your case uh, originally. So those go there. Um, so yeah, you, you have a um, simplified design, whereas you know here you have all those gears going around. Well, here you only have the three. So that makes it a lot better because the idler that goes here, that's a weak point that you're not gonna have anymore. Um, also, I went ahead and mounted the 180 motor. Um, I didn't pay attention, but I kind of put it tilted. Like this one's coming this way and that one's coming that way. That messing with my mind I don't like the way it looks but anyways that's um when you put it on just put it straight it looks whack anyways um I only had this big pinion which is the one that I had connected to this guy I haven't received the smaller ones yet and um so obviously this is going to be really fast but um you can go with the original size pinion uh just just make sure you get a stronger one because these motors are really strong um I originally said that we would be using the stock cover, but um, with the bigger pinions, it's not going to be possible, of course. And uh, with the original one, yes, it will work, but you still have to cut a little piece of it to accommodate for this bolt right here. Um, I went ahead and marked it here and here because, you know, just to see how close it would be. And uh, it would work, but like I said, it's just. This is too big of an opinion for me to be able to mount it there. Uh, I might just design another cover for it. I don't know. It's kind of late right now. <laughs> but anyways, the way that it is, it's pretty much two pieces. This one right here, which is the one that holds on to the motor and all the gears. And then the lid. So once I post this on Shapeways, it should be pretty cheap, hopefully. Uh, to where it's going to actually be an option for you guys. Um should fix a lot of problems that you have with the original one uh, when it comes to um, it being able to last long and also um, having the bigger motor you're not going to have the underpowered issue that you have with the original one so you know that's going to fix that issue so you're not going to have to be you know buying so many different gear you know transmissions and stuff so pretty much that's what it is this piece and this piece now Obviously, I gotta show you that it works. So let's go ahead and spin it. Trying to go really slow, but that pinion doesn't really want to go slow. Of course, you can go fast. So, as you can see, all the gears are working, um, they're not getting caught or anything. Uh, come on oh, you could obviously spin it with your finger as well so you know they got a good mesh in them they should have, you know they should last a long time now um, oh yeah by the way this um, this print came up pretty nasty down here but this is because I did it on resin and I didn't set up the, um, the uh, dry time long enough and it just kind of got real soft on the edge and it didn't print this piece right but you get the gist of it this is um so you can mount it on the original uh plate so pretty much you know you get this piece put your original gears in it you mount it on the plate and you get to go um i'm gonna go ahead and um i guess post this one for you guys to take a look at I'll put it on the Shapeway store, and um, maybe this weekend I'll try to see if I can design a cover for it, and then I'll post that, or if I can't design one that works good, then you know you could always just use it this way. But for your, those of you guys that are looking for a way to fix your barrage and give it some extra power, this should do the trick. Alright, thanks for watching guys.